Hello, I'm the Cool Banana and welcome back to more Terraria Expert Mode. In the last episode, we got destroyed by the Eater of Worlds. But then we kind of got a bit of a power trip in killing the Slime King. So it was kind of still a productive episode. And we also got the Nightmare Pickaxe because we managed to kill one section of the Eater of Worlds. But, as you can see, there is some couple things a little bit different about my character this episode. And that being... Mainly, the most important one, the cape. But, kind of secondly, not really that important. We've gone from a malaise to a code 1. Now, you're going to see me getting this code 1 on screen now. Uh, it's just bought from a travelling merchant, and he had both the cape and the code 1. That travelling merchant was a saint, honestly. He was an absolute saint. I'm just really annoyed he came while I was building something. Because uh, as you know, I don't like building on camera because I'm really slow with it and it wouldn't be entertaining, trust me. But as you can see here, this is going to be our new farm area. Now, I've gotten, uh, as you can see, I've gotten a bit of inspiration from Chaos. Um, yeah, <laughs> quite a lot of inspiration from Chaos. <laughs> Literally, I just watched one of his videos, took like a couple of his techniques, whacked something weird together. I wanted it to kind of make it look like a broken dungeon that I've then gone and restored with wood and glass. Wood and glass, not wood and glass. Oh, sorry, I've got, um, one sec. All right, sorry about that. I have a bit of a uh, block nose at the moment, which is lovely. Oh, I always get block noses when I want to do something that involves me talking or, you know, breathing. It's really, an <laughs> you know, like life. It's really annoying. I don't know where I'm going, actually, so, uh... Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly craft the summoner for the Eater of Worlds. And then I will be right back once, you know, I've done that. <laughs> uh, okay, quick little cut back here. I've just looked in my inventory and noticed I have seven strange plants. I didn't realize I got that many while I was building the house. Literally, all I was doing was traveling to the desert, getting some glass, and then coming back. And in that time, I managed to pick up seven Seven strange plants. That is insane. Anyway, I'll be right back once I've done everything I need to do at the house and crafted the uh, Eater of Worlds Summoner. Alright. As you can see, there's been a few modifications to our arena. As you can see, I've gone all out this time. I've not fucked about in any way. Oh, look, there's a Devourer. That was not how you say it. Devourer. Um, why can't I say that? Devourer. Devourer. No, that's not happening, Devourer. i uh, just staying at that. But yeah, the arena is a lot better this time. It's a hell of a lot bigger. I just have to be careful when jumping, because I have to jump my full jump height to get up there. If I just tap it, I ain't... Ugh. If I just tap the space bar, I ain't going to get up there. So yeah, I want to be careful of that. But anyway, without further ado, I think it's about time we start this, don't you? Buff up. Worm food. Let's go. Alright, come on, asshole. Shoot as much fucking vile spit as you want this time. Oh, yeah, I can use the Shield of Cthulhu to break it. That is amazing. I didn't realise that. Oh, hello. Hi. How you doing, Daddy? Whoa. Oh, I nearly got his head. Alright. Don't want to get caught by it. Right, the head's gone. Second's gone. Brilliant. Alright, it's a good start. I've also got healing potions. I've crafted healing potions since last episode. Like, proper healing potions. Not lesser. So, with a bit of luck, we'll be fine this time. Get out of my way, asshole! He's boxing me. Oh, God. Right, that's not gone well. I'm not having it, bro. I managed to save myself somehow. How long can I keep it going? Oh, I'm getting fucked. Nah. Why were there so many fucking enemies? I hate that. Like, why was there a slime there? Why? It was a corruption. Why was there a green slime in a corruption? You know, the annoying thing is, is I don't have the materials to make another one, so... Looks like we're going to smash in the, uh, smash in the shadow orbs again. So, yeah, I'll see you once I've got bombs ready to do that. Alright, so what my plan is, is to come down here, throw some bombs, and come up before the Eater of Worlds actually spawns, and try and get up. 
Alright, so I came down into the caves in the hopes of uh, trying to find maybe a cloud in a bottle or a goblin tinkerer so I can get rocket boots. As I think that's probably my problem really, is I've got a lack of mobility. A magic mirror, that's quite nice. I have wanted one of those because we don't have one yet. That is nice, although it's not what I wanted game. So uh, yeah, go fuck yourself. Anyway. It's just me or is that the stupidest boulder trap? That looks like a uh, mushroom biome down there. So, but anyway, I'll be right back once we find uh, something that's interesting or useful. I have! I found the goblin! Yes! Right, let's get rid of all these horrible things. Goblin! I've got room for you and everything, I think. Brilliant. Stop throwing bones at me! Asshole! Get fucking glocked, mate. I also found a house. Yay, and it's got nothing good in it. Brilliant. <sighs> Never ceased to surprise me, Terraria. But, Goblin! Look at how badly he spawned. Brilliant. Right. Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by other goblins. You could say that we didn't get along very well. Yeah, I, I, I bet you didn't, buddy. Um, can I have these? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, you're a glorious man. Let's just, yeah, I'll swap that. I don't know. Uh, you can have this gold ore, friend. You can have that. That's for you. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to magic mirror back quick so you spawn home. Let's have a look. Did it work? Why is that door shut? For God's sake, NPCs. What do you do while I'm not here? Uh, I've not got room for him. God damn it. Right, I'll be right back. Was he here the whole time? Because I've just built a house into the side of that wall. If he's been here the whole time, I'm going to be really annoyed with myself. Dalek. Uh, reforge. That could be nice. Uh, could I reforge my code one? Yes. Demonic code one. Thank you very much. Uh, massive. That could do with the reforge. Uh, Oi! Thank you, asshole. Giving me shit. The fuck do you think you are? I'd give you shelter and gave you a home, asshole. Your own people don't like you. Dick. Right, I also forgot. I also want to buy a Tinkerer's Workshop from him. You cheeky motherfucker. I always have dyes to sell. That's one thing I have learned this playthrough. There... <clears throat> the die trader, actually one thing I've learned anyway in general, the die trader is a con artist. That asshole will get you to search your entire world far and wide for bloody, um, for strange plants and then he'll give you dyes you've already got. What a prick. Right, I want to make the spectre boots, lovely. Now I can whack my shiny red balloon back on and bang, right we should be sorted. Hang on, wait. Spectre boots. Regular spectre boots. Is, is, is that... Is that you going to play this, bro? Really? Looks like I'm going to have to go bring some more dies. Right. Take these negative dies. Now, good sir. Reforge my spectre boots. And make them warding. You're a fucking cunt. You're an actual cunt. I'm literally giving this guy anything I have at this point. I just want warding spectre boots. And that's not even enough money for you to reforge them, you fucking prick. Have another- have some demonite. That good enough, asshole? You better give me something defensive. I don't care if it's one defense. Please. Oh, you legend! Oh, you legend! Yes! I can't believe that. What luck! What luck! Right. Hopefully, hopefully, now, we should be able to take on the Eater of Worlds. So, uh, I'm gonna make some more... This is the fourth Goblin Army! Are you serious?! Four goblin armies, not one meteorite! What the fuck? Oh, these fucking cunts coming to my house! You know what? Nope, quitting out doesn't work. It works for the Akathulu, doesn't work for them though. 
Oh, I've just got to do it. Oh. Uh. I don't want to fight four goblin armies. I'm not even in hard mode. You don't fucking say. They've been approaching from the east every single time, and every single time, they have lost. They aren't going to learn, are they? Right. The fourth goblin army has been dispatched, finally. And, uh, unfortunately, they used up all my unholy arrows. So, well, I've got eight left. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm a few Eye of Cthulhu's. And I will be right back with my new plan to take on the Eater of Worlds. Alright, so, hopefully... I should be able to defeat the Eater of Worlds now with our newfound, uh, what are they, Spectre Boots? Is that right? Yep. Warding Spectre Boots and everything else we've got. Uh, I haven't got any archery potions though, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, I'm going to use the Demon Bow this time uh, with Jester Arrows and Unholy Arrows. But uh, here's my plan. I'm going to come down here like this on these ropes and then... I'm just going to bop up after throwing a ton of bombs down. So, what I'm going to do is bop, bop, bop. Yeah, that's not what I wanted you to do at all. Neither is that. Right, now it's time for the sticky dynamite. Okay, no, let's not go down there. I didn't want to hit E. Oh, I'm panicking. Okay, it's not going to sump spawn yet. Calm down. <laughs> right. Sticky dynamite. Just throw it both, fuck it. Alright, now run! 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 He's... Yep, it worked! Ooh! Nice, right. Right, this is already looking a lot better. Because <laughs> this pierces. I didn't realise Unholy Arrows pierce, but that's going to damage so much of him. Like, oh god, don't want to come down there with him. Jesus. Right, hopefully, we should have this in the bag this time. He still does does quite a lot of damage, despite the fact we've got 40 defense. God, this man's got damage, like, he could take you out with fucking Hellstone armor if he wanted to. This man is not happy with me. Whoa! Alright, I've got quite a lot of sections to deal with now. This is getting intense. Wait, calm down, lads. Yeah, in that goblin army, I took it upon myself to learn how to use the Shield of Cthulhu properly. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit better with it now. I use it more for dodging than attacking. So, yeah, that's usually what I try to do with it now. I think that's probably a better way to handle it. Anyway, I just nearly destroyed that entire section. There we go. This is what I wanted. I should have been using the Demon Bow the entire time. Look at it. It's annihilating this man. Making him a joke. I'm getting my fucking revenge for being made to... Uh, sorry about that. I'm getting my freaking revenge. <laughs> from him destroying me so much before. Jesus, right. Get decimated. Boy! Come here. Come here. Come on. There you go. The Eater of Worlds has been defeated. Love it. All right, I feel good about that. I absolutely annihilated him. I felt like I should—I was doing something wrong in uh, in those last fights because I, I was just like not doing anything to him. I was using the wrong weapon. That's what I was doing. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to head back with our magic mirror that we got today. Lovely. And uh, I. All right. Let's see. Oh yes, the worm scarf reduces damage taken by 17%. See, now, I'm just going to have to put that on instead of the shackle. Because that, you know, 17%. Uh, what's an armoured shackle? That's, oh, that's plus, that's plus four defence. Hmm. Alright, if you were listening, obviously, you were, because I'm such an entertaining individual. Then you heard me say I was farming Eye of Cthulhu's. Now, I got 76 Demonite bars from that. So, yeah, that was nice. Uh, also... We also got 160 Demonite Ore from the Eater of Worlds, so that gives us another 53. So yeah, we should hopefully have enough to make the full Shadow Scale set. 
I, I don't know how I have this many shadow scales, to be completely honest. It seems a bit much. Right, that's one. Uh, Z2. Z3! We have the shadow scale set, and that also means I'm going to take off this now. Because this is my favourite set, by far, in the entire game. Because look at this! You get an after effect. Look at how dope it looks! Look at how dope I look! I look absolutely fabulous! Okay. Right, um, uh, that does not work. There you go, that's better. Alright, so, on that note, we are going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, had a lot of fun making this one, i got to admit. Although, I recorded for an hour, and it's probably only going to be about 20 minutes. So, yeah, a lot of, uh... A lot of annoyances happened this episode, but, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching this episode. If you liked it, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, leave a dislike and tell me why. Also, again, if you, uh, enjoyed it and you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, yeah, check out my, uh, Twitter as well, which is in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching again, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.